Happy Friday. I'm meteorologist Brittany Rainey with your CBSN DFW weather update. We are tracking the potential for an isolated severe thunderstorm or two overnight tonight as a strong cold front moves through North Texas. The Storm Prediction Center has issued that marginal risk for all of North Texas, but one step up from that, that slight risk, that staying into southern Oklahoma when we initially see those storms firing along the front. So the main threats would be damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour and then large hail about quarter size for any of those storms that do reach severe limits, but it's looking to be isolated. We're not expecting a widespread severe weather event, but here's the rest of your Friday. We're going to see mostly cloudy skies. Spotty showers will be around throughout the day, but any severe threat that's going to hold off until about midnight or into the early morning hours of Saturday. We're starting to see some of those thunderstorms moving into McKinney around midnight and then right through the Metroplex closer to 1 to 4 a.m. and they will continue to sag down to the southeast from there. So by 5 a.m. we're seeing some of those stronger storms around Kaufman, Mineola, headed into Corsicana and the Hillsborough area. By sunrise, we're already starting to dry out around DFW. Could even get a couple of breaks in the clouds heading into Saturday afternoon. But as far as precipitation associated with this front, we are going to see totals around an inch, mainly east of the Metroplex could get up to an inch and a half. So you might see a little bit of localized flooding for just a little while, but it's going to clear out pretty quickly. But what you're really going to notice is a temperature drop. So this is a look at four o'clock this afternoon. We're in the upper 70s out ahead of that front. By midnight, we're still going to be mild around 70 degrees because the front hasn't moved in just yet to really drop our temperatures. After that happens, this is 7 a.m. on Saturday morning. We're near 50 degrees and then temperatures will hold steady to even drop a couple of degrees by Saturday afternoon back into the upper 40s and then heading into Sunday morning. Those temperatures are going to be even colder right around that freezing mark, but the winds are really going to draw that colder air in and they're also going to make it feel even chillier out there on Saturday. So you will notice these strong northerly winds all day starting off the weekend. They will start to subside heading into the evening hours, but they'll still be breezy enough to make it feel even colder than that actual air temperature. So it's time to break out those jackets once again. But our pollen forecast, we are getting a little bit of relief from the juniper and cedar following that front on Saturday. We're into the low to medium range and then on Sunday back into that medium range. Sunday afternoon, partly cloudy, upper 40s, and we stay seasonal for Monday into Tuesday. Notice a slow warming trend, though, so as we get closer to Christmas, we're warming back up even in the upper 60s by Thursday afternoon.